The section that we are currently busy with now is taking a straight or, or writing the equation of a straight line in standard form. So I always like to remind you what that is. I know it can get repetitive, but I'm just trying to really help you to um, understand that. And what they'll do is they'll give us a point and they'll give us a slope. So here we go. They say determine the standard form. So straight away you must remember that that means ax plus by equals to c. Remember a, b, and c must not be fractions. And a must always be a positive. Wow, Kevin, you're very repetitive, hey? Yeah, I know I am, uh, but you know, it will help. When you're in your test or you're, yeah, you're busy sitting there and you're stressing and your mind is blanking, well, we hope at that moment everything we've been saying then comes back to you. Okay, so okay, so what we're gonna do is we actually, we're actually actually gonna make use of the slope intercept form that we looked at in the previous section, which is that one. Remember, some teachers might use a B over there, that doesn't really matter. Now, they've told us the slope is four. It's quite weird how we have to use this one first before we can go to the standard form, but that's just how it is, okay? Um, that's the best way to do it. So we fill in the slope. Can you remember how to find C? Well, well done. If you can remember that you take this X value, plug it in there. Take this Y value, plug it in there. And so we end up with 5 equals to 4 times negative 2 plus c. So 5 is equal to negative 8 plus c. Take the 8 over, and that becomes a positive 8. So we end up with 13. So therefore, your final answer, or not the final answer, but the slope-intercept form would be y equals 2, what's our slope? 4x plus 13. Now, from here, that's not the answer. That is called slope-intercept form which is what we looked at in the previous section. Now we're gonna convert that into standard form. So remember, to get standard form, you wanna put your x and y's on the left-hand side. So um, I'm gonna take this 4x over, I'm gonna put it in the front, so we end up with um, minus 4x plus y equals 13. Then we also don't want a to be negative, we want a to be positive. So what we then do is we just divide throughout with negative one. So we can actually just change everything. So this one changes to four x, this one changes to negative y, and this one changes to negative 13. Now we are in standard form. We're gonna do this example, and then I've got one more after this. So let's start with, uh, okay, so they want standard form, so let's go write out standard form. Now, they've given us the slope and a point, so we can use slope-intercept form quickly, and we just go fill everything in. So remember, this is your slope, and yeah, so we'll just go minus two, like that. Then to find C, we would plug this over here, and this one over here. And so we end up with negative four equals to negative two times three plus c. And so negative four is gonna be equal to negative six plus c. If you take the negative six over, it becomes a positive. So c is two. So now we can say that the slope intercept form is y equals to negative two x add two. Now remember, the question is asking for standard form, which is this one. So what we'll do is we'll take this 2x over where it will become positive, and there we're done, because the x is positive, the x and y on the left together, and then we have another number there. Now this last example is really cool because we're gonna be dealing with fractions, and in standard form you're not allowed fractions, so I'm gonna show you how we can handle that. So here they want us to do standard form, so we know by now that that's ax plus by equals to c. They've given us the slope and a point, so we can use the slope intercept form just to, um, there are other things like, there's some things your teacher maybe has done with, or that they've done with you called the point slope. We just haven't done that yet. Um, the order that I chose was, uh, point intercept, I mean slope intercept. Then we did standard form, which is what we're doing now. And then in the next section, we're gonna be looking at point 
slope. But your teacher might have done point slope before standard. So they can mix it up a little bit. As long as you understand the three different types and how to use them and to switch between them, that's really what's most important. I've seen different schools do it in different orders. It doesn't really matter. So the slope is a quarter, so we're going to fill that in as a quarter. Then the minus 2, we're going to put that in the place of x. And the minus 3, we're going to put that in the place of y. So we're going to say minus 3 equals to a quarter, x is minus 2. So then what we end up with is minus 3 equals to, um, now if you had to multiply these two on your calculator, you would get negative a half plus c. Now you need to get the c by itself, so that would be c equals to um, negative 3 plus a half, so c would end up being negative 5 over 2. So now we can go write our equation in standard form, I mean slope intercept form for now, like that. Now, we are not allowed, remember, for A, B, and C, they must not be fractions. A, B, and C must not be fractions. So what are we going to do? Well, we are going to get a common denominator. So the lowest common denominator in those fractions would be 4. So what I'm going to do is try convert all three of these at the bottom into a 4. So we will multiply this bottom part by 4. And what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And then I'll multiply this one by 2, and then this one by 2. So then what we do is we end up with 4y over 4 equals to 1 over 4x minus 10 over 4. Now when all three of these are the same, and because we have an equation, we can let go or we can get rid of the 4s. So we can actually just cancel them out. All of those denominator 4s, we can just cancel them out. And so we end up with 4y equals to 1x minus 10. And so there we got rid of all the fractions, but now we're still not in standard form. Standard form is when you get the x and the y on the left. So I'm going to take this x over um, this one here, so it'll become negative 1x plus 4y equals negative 10. Then I need to, to make sure that this is a positive. So what I do is I change that one to a positive. This one sign has to then change, and this one sign has to change. So we're changing all of their signs, okay? It's almost like we're dividing everything by negative 1. 